At some point, you're going to have to stop caring what people think. You're going to have to live life for yourself. Realize no one's going to love you more than you love you. So it only makes sense to do you. It hasn't always been this way. It's been a journey. A lot of people comment and have judgment on your life and people tend to forget that even though we're on TV, we're still human. It's just our ups and downs are played out for the world to see. Especially living my early 20s on reality TV, I felt like it was groundbreaking. We were the pioneers of the genre. I was living my real life and living my truth. My career has been full of ups and downs but not many people can say they've had the longevity that I've had, and I've been in the business almost 22 years. I have no regrets on anything I've done. Some people aren't gonna like it, but it was me. The one thing that has always kept me going is my mother, and now that she's no longer with us, I have to keep going for my daughters. I don't like to just do something. I have to be the best at everything that I do. This game takes real strength. Staying relevant is not easy. Sometimes I ask myself, girl, why are you doing this? The reason why I keep going is because I don't know anything else. Not too many people could walk in my shoes. I've been rich, I've been poor, and I think that I've learned that life is about having substance and it's not about how much money you have, but who you are as a person. And reality TV just shows one side of who I am. No one is one dimensional. The thing about me is, love me or hate me, you know that I'm real. Not everybody understands who I am, and at this point, I don't take gratification in going against a weaker opponent. That's so far from who I am. I'm okay with being misunderstood, because the truth needs no defense. I'm okay with the games people play, because my next move is my absolute best move. I'm okay with defining who I am on my own terms. And this is the journey. I'm okay with being me.